movement of first and organization. Uh, as you know, I was here in March, but I was sent back to Juba with the past about to follow up something. Then I came back on July the first. <coughs> Before I introduce my colleague Amaz the Bab, I want to say two things because we are running out of time. Number one is the time the leadership of the community that invited us to celebrate the fourth anniversary of our independence. Number two, and which is most importantly, and we should also acknowledge it, is to thank the church leadership in the United States because our American Christian brothers who help us during the struggle to achieve our independence. As you all know, without the help of United States Christians uh, who pressured President Bush, I believe CPA would not have been signed in 2005. And we should also acknowledge, and we should, I, I would thank uh, Reverend Catherine and the leadership of the church that what you did today is what the church did before. Because all you know, uh, see uh, uh, Reverend uh, Billy Graham Sr., Billy Graham Jr., and all the Christian churches in the United States, what they did to us, there were the people who pressured George Bush to do something to end the war in Sudan. And then President Bush listened to them and intervened, and this was what became CPA. CPA is the product of Christian mobilization in the United States. And for that matter, we need to acknowledge and thank our Christian brothers and sisters in the United States. My message also to our Christian brothers and sisters in the United States is that uh, the conflict we have today, because it seems that there are people who are misunderstanding what is going on in South Sudan. What is happening in South Sudan is a war that is started as a coup staged by Rehm Mashar. And Rehm Mashar ended up being supported by the same Islamists that our Christian brothers and sisters help us to gain our independence. So I'm asking you, our American brothers and sisters, that we should support our government and the people of South Sudan to one of this rebellion. As you heard last year on June 30 during the celebration of MCP, uh, President Omar Bashir said that he would return South Sudan to the north before he leaves power in Sudan. I think all of you heard that. We all know that Yemen Mashar is getting support from Khartoum to fight our government. So this issue is not an issue of being in South Sudan. If yes, it is true, we are negotiating with Yemen Mashar and Addis. Even Americans negotiate with the Taliban in Afghanistan. It doesn't mean that Yemen Mashar is not a criminal or a terrorist or a rebel. Yemen Mashar has everything that we can call the same thing Americans are doing to Al Qaeda and other groups. But we also acknowledge that since we want peace, we can talk with Rehm Mashar so that we reduce the life of people that Rehm is trying to finish. But my advice to you American brothers and sisters, uh, some of them already left like our sisters, uh, Faith McDonald, is that you should help us to protect our Christianity in the South, which is being threatened by Khartoum that is supporting Rehm Mashar militarily to dismantle the South. Because the Arab Sudan government is that when the South is ungovernable, then the international community will declare the UN trusteeship and eventually maybe they will take over the South. So we want the Americans to get this correctly, that the war in South Sudan is not an ethnic problem, is not the issue of democracy because Sadhu Kiri was democratically elected. It is a problem of somebody who is taking who state power. And when it fail, it is not to the same enemy that we fought before. So this is the message. And because on the on the on the July the 9th I saw some New York pastors, I think, and they were demonstrating at the White House. I think they were around 10. Uh, they were saying that oh, uh, there is no need for celebration for independence, and then they were, they were calling for Ram Vago. These are the same people who celebrated on July the 9th, 2011, together with Rehm Mashar. Today, they are saying that they don't want to celebrate the independence of South Sudan simply because Rehm Mashar is a rebel. So you can see how naive are some of our people. There are people who are saying, oh, there is no reason to celebrate. Oh, what is the American? How many Americans died during the American Civil War? Over 100,000 Americans died during the American Civil War. And now America did not stop celebrating the independence of the United States. You all know that. The history of the United States. Yeah. So, how come they can fought the war? A lot of people died, but they celebrated the independence of the United States. And they did not give up. People came to him, were telling them, oh, people are dying, please, you just come to this black emancipation act. He said, no, if any all American would die, I will never cancel the black emancipation act. Because those southern confederates are criminals. And he fought the war and he won the war. 
I think that is the same thing we will do to help Bashar. And let's accept the peace according to our terms, the terms of the people of South Sudan. Thank you.